All right, what's up, gang? So I have more intel for you. It came out this uh, last night, actually. And on the Toronto Blue Jays, which could affect the Yankees' pursuit of Aaron Judge and their calculus for the entire offseason. So we're hearing the reports are saying now, and the sources are saying that the Blue Jays have received the green light from their ownership to go out and get one of the big pitchers like Jacob deGrom or, or Noah Syndergaard. I'm not going to Justin Verlander, excuse me. And also to put a package together for Shohei Otani. So it sounds like they may get one of these guys. They're going to try to get one or maybe two. Could you imagine like getting Verlander and Otani? You know, again, this is going to affect, I think, what the Yankees do, as it should, as it will affect a lot of other teams in AL2. That, they get one or two of these guys. changes the whole American League landscape. Okay, You get an Otani and a Verlander. You get an Otani and a DeGrom if DeGrom stays healthy. It's a whole different American League East. Whole different American League East. So... That leads me to ask the question, what do they do now? What do the Yankees do? Do they <laughs> go harder at the judge? Um, do they spread it out amongst a couple of players? Do they make some trades too? I have some Yankees videos that I'm going to be putting out, some off-season videos, kind of my blueprint, um, what I think they should do versus what I think they will do. I have a whole bunch of Yankee videos coming out, so make sure you subscribe to the channel when I'm done that so you don't miss these things, okay? And uh, I, I want to keep you in the loop on everything because free agency is going to be crazy. It starts in a couple days. As soon as the World Series ends, free agency starts. Exclusive free agency for five days, and then everybody free agency after that. So I think things will be pretty, a little bit more hectic than usual before the winter meetings this year. So teams are going to want to walk, lock up some of the nucleus and some of the main players before things get nuts. So, But players like Judge, his price isn't going to go down, really, because of the year he had. So that's something that the Yankees like to do, right? They like to wait it out. This year, I think it'll be a mistake if they do that. They're going to miss out on a lot of players. And they need more than Judge. They need more than Judge and Correa. They need more than more than that. So, um, but I wanted to give you this intel on the Blue Jays because this could really shake up the whole American League. It could shake up baseball. And they have the pieces and the money to do it. Okay? The pieces in the trade, the money to make a deal happen. And they're aggressive. They're clearly wanting to win, Right? They're putting together a young nucleus for a long time. They keep adding guys. They've added Jose Barrios. They've added Hinjin Rhea. Like, they've added a lot of players. So Gaussman. Um, and that 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 uh, roster is coming across pretty nice. But if they add it, can you imagine adding a Verlander to that, to Gaussman and to the rest of those guys? Oof. Or DeGrom to those guys. Like, oh my gosh. Imagine adding Otani. You might have to give up a Guriel or something like that or... or, or well, somebody, yeah, you get quite a bit actually. Guriel and maybe um, Biggio and a couple other players. But could you imagine adding Otani to Vlad Jr. and Bichette and some of these other guys? Like, oh, and, and Springer. Oh, my goodness. That's a modern day murderer's row. Something to rival even the Houston Astros. So <laughs> I wanted to get this info out to you because I want to know what you think. This, again, this could change how the Yankees pursue this offseason and again if I'm them I'm, I want to be first in a certain things and beat other teams to the punch because they always get beat to the punch I mean they have an opportunity to secure a nice little nucleus and then it all depends on what they do with Aaron Judge right he's got to be the first order of business and but don't be surprised if the Blue Jays jump on it or someone else jumps on and the Blue Jays happen to get oh my god they got Verlander and somebody else in the same day like, do the Yankees make other moves? And again, I like re making like reactionary moves because the Yankees have made some mistake ones, like with those with okay, Gowell and Jaco Jacoby Ellsbury. But if I'm the Yankees, I'm putting forth a plan that's going to make them better. And if I'm Hal, I'm going to want to spend because there's nothing more profitable than winning a championship in New York. Nothing. Okay? Not, winning a championship in Houston or Philadelphia is not as lucrative winning it in New York. It's not. So I, w I would be. You know, encouraging him to invest in his own product, show his face on occasion, right? Answer some damn questions with Brian Cashman. Be trans, but a little bit more transparent with the fans, because um, they do have an opportunity to make some noise this off season too. But it has to be real noise, not a little. So, let me know what you think about this Blue Jays news, because again, if if, if at least to me, it fires up the thought process. Because if they if they act first, they strike first, or they draw first blood. And they could put the Yankees in a bind. You could put the other teams in the least in a bind, right? The Orioles, who are on a rise. The Yankees, who I didn't think they were going to get to ALCS here this year, but they did. So uh, Boston, you never know. Usually when they're in the bottom, they work their way right back up. So I expect Boston to be aggressive too. And all the, you know, just 
I think American League East is going to be pretty damn formidable. Tampa Bay is always going to be up there as well. So Detroit, I mean, uh, the Toronto Blue Jays have kind of laid out the gauntlet now, thrown down the gauntlet. And ownership has said, go out and get the piece or pieces that you need. So be on the lookout for that. I'll obviously put out all the breaking news that comes out no matter what team does it. Okay, you're going to get it all off season, just like we did uh, during the lockout or when the lockout ended. There was news left and right. It's going to continue to happen here. So let's talk about it, gang.